Good morning. We are currently dispersed camping right outside of the Grand Canyon along the National Forest Service Road because we did the South Rim yesterday and um, it was beautiful but very busy like we expected and we haven't had service for a little while so we kind of just thought we'd take our chances on a campground and um, they were full. So by the time we found that out it was already dark and our headlights are horrible so we don't really like to drive at night if we can avoid it. So we went to the visitor center parking lot and there were a decent amount of other RVs and vans and people clearly sleeping there so we thought well we'll just sleep here and leave in the morning and um, it didn't work. Everyone got kicked out. So at about midnight we had to drive um, to this dispersed campground, which it wasn't far at all, so it wasn't bad. Um, so yeah, that was our night, and it was a horrible feeling to be woken up in the middle of the night by um, someone knocking on your door. Um, but we drove over here and went back to sleep, and everything's fine. And um, today we're going to go back to another lookout point in the Grand Canyon on our way to Horseshoe Bend, and then I'm not super sure where after that <laughs> we need to get cell phone service again. I love your van! You guys are so awesome! Can I see your ID? Well, we drove to Desert View and parked and now I'm gonna make breakfast. And maybe we can find somewhere cool to eat it. Like on a bench looking at the Grand Canyon would be ideal. Here's breakfast. <laughs> Never mind, we're just gonna eat in the van because it's too far to walk with a plate of food. And Bryce is eating up there far away from me for some reason. <laughs> I just got in here because you were <laughs> making the lunch on the floor. I mean, breakfast. <laughs> Hi Grand Canyon, you are beautiful and packed with tourists. Very crowded. We're at Horseshoe Bend, and the parking lot is nice and crowded. It's really crowded. It kind of sucks. I didn't know this place was like that. I kind of thought it might be. I don't, well, I just didn't know what to expect, but... That's true. Yeah. Of course. No problem. Well, Horseshoe Bend was beautiful. But I would say that if you don't love crowds, then go super early in the morning or later in the evening. I don't really know. Or not in the summer, maybe. Or not in the summer, maybe. Yeah, the picture looks amazing, but then just behind the camera is just a sea of people. Yeah. So it kind of doesn't ruin the moment. It's still a, a beautiful place, but it's definitely... 
it's definitely not the same as like getting out in nature. It's a lot it's a lot more crowded than we thought it was going to be, even though it is one of those just pull off and yeah. see it kind of things. But we had no idea that that's what it was. That's true. <laughs> so we didn't know what it was going to be like and it ended up just being sort of a roadside attraction so it was a little sad in that regard yeah but it was still beautiful the thing itself and now we're at a walmart are you excited yep <laughs> So what's for lunch? We're having sandwiches with cucumber and tomato and avocado and hummus. They're really good. <laughs> so today is kind of uh, turned into a, an odd day for us. Um, Horseshoe Bend wasn't really like what we expected. We thought that our next stop was going to be Antelope Canyon. Um, we did very little research like before we left because we wanted to just go with the flow and you know move on to whatever came next and so just now that we have service in this Walmart parking lot um, I was looking up the prices for Antelope Canyon tours and the cheapest one I can find is like $50 a person and we just typically don't throw down that type of cash for touristy type things and so uh, even though it's beautiful and I'd love to see it but yeah exactly for a hundred dollars and so we're really kind of debating whether that's worth it because there's so many beautiful you know natural places that you can access for free or especially with the park pass we also don't want to regret not going since we're right here in the area and it's only a hundred dollars, but it just doesn't seem to be, I don't know, sort of within the spirit of our trip to just like drop money like that on a guided tour. And I'm sure it's a special experience for a lot of people, but I mean, looking at these websites, the tours leave every 30 minutes and it's just, it's not what we're used to. And so it's a little, I don't know, disheartening for us because we've seen the photos there and we really would love to see it. Um, I just didn't realize it was gonna be that expensive per person. We're having an internal struggle right now. I think Courtney's already decided we're not going. Mm. <laughs> so it looks like we're gonna spend our first night in a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> Are you excited? If you have to, this is like a, a great one. It seems like everyone here is in the middle of a road trip and yeah. breaking it up. Like we're just surrounded by RVs and vans. So I guess if you have to, this is the place. Yeah, and it's really hot. So I think we're just gonna go wander around inside of Walmart in the air conditioning now, instead of just sitting in the parking lot. I'm bored. <laughs> Still bored. Stop. <laughs> Downloading the new season of Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt on Netflix on Walmart's Wi Fi. <laughs> Bryce thought that these license plates, all of these, <laughs> just hang <laughs> from your pants. <laughs> But they're not, they're for the back of your bike. I really didn't get it first time <laughs> I looked at it. It's not that obvious. Like, they could have accentuated the bike a little more and not the kid's butt. <laughs> uh. So that RV over there was one of the other RVs that got kicked out of the Grand Canyon parking lot. We're trying to figure out if we should go say hi. <laughs> Here's our spot for the night. Lovely Walmart. 
And look at all the RVs. <laughs> Going to the bathroom before bed. And Walmart. Did you show them all the people sleeping here? Yeah, I did. There's tons of, so many it's like RVs. It's an RV park. There are a lot. This was a good um, first Walmart parking lot experience because of how many other people there are around us. Yeah, it's nice. All right, we're ready for bed and we're gonna watch um, some Netflix that I downloaded earlier. And we put up these extra towels and blankets <laughs> to keep some of the excess light out. That's gonna be uh, you know, uh, fascinating transition. Damn it!